Oh, good morning. Welcome back to Colonia and the old Polish farm. It's mid-September. It's raining. My struggles continue with uh, <laughs> recording and clips and such. I uh, did some off-camera work, finish up those uh, solid trailing contracts, and I tried to save a clip, or I recorded a clip, and I neglected to save it left out the game, put the uh, console into rest mode, and just lost the footage. Essentially what it was, let me get my coffee here. <sighs> Essentially what it was, was getting paid the money for the uh, contract for the salvage bales. We made, I think it was just over 9,000 euros let's just call it between nine and ten thousand <clears throat> and uh we collected that and then we paid off our loan so we are debt free but we only have twenty eight thousand three hundred and fifty euros well actually that's pretty good on this map i mean in this let's play we've always had little money um it's raining as you can see, and that's going to really affect what we're going to do today. Not happy about it, but what can you do? Run across the yard here. So you get wetter when you run or when you walk through the rain? Didn't they do that on Mythbusters back in the day? Let's just go ahead and check on the cows here. So here we are. Oh, we're maxed out on slurry. That's not good. Uh, I, I don't know if I got the tank full. I'll have to fill the tank. Uh, milk, we got enough to take. Look at reproduction. I think 80. We got one at 80. So that'll be like next or in two months. Okay. Oh, actually, I can go through, right? Let me pull up the uh, field info here and we'll check the uh, check that tank. So it should tell us. Uh, it, it appears to be empty, right? Huh, that's weird. That equipment's not showing up. I think that's right. Okay. That tells us how much manure is it, so it must be empty. Um, <clears throat> so I did cut the grass over here and tetted it for hay, and of course, now it's raining. <sighs> so we wanted to get on the, um, the corn. Chopping the corn today, but I don't know, we'll have to check the weather. This is kind of throwing a wrinkle of what I thought I was going to do today. I'll have to see how long it's going to rain. Ballot or no. Close these. I don't know why I left them open. Um, let's see. The uh, 
the Z-Tor 7745 Turbo. Okay, let's run around. Can I hook up to that? Um, slurry tanker, I don't know. Let's see. All I want to do is just fill it up. Okay, so that way I've got at least a little space inside the uh, inside the uh, whatever the cow barn to hold a little bit more slurry. Not much, but we should start putting that on our fields. Um, let's see. This is not what I planned on doing today. <laughs> well, I mean, I planned on doing this, but I didn't plan on it raining. I knew there was rain in the forecast, but I didn't know it was going to last all. I was kind of hoping they'd be like overnight showers, like we get sometimes. This, this is going to continue at least through part of the morning. We'll check the weather in a little bit. Uh, but, uh, can you dig potatoes in the rain? I imagine that would be really muddy. <laughs> so we did uh, clean the garbage straw up out of this uh, field and got that one round straw bale. The bale are still up there too. I guess lights on for safety. I thought I'd change my clothes. I didn't save it. Yeah. Um, I thought I'd put on a rain jacket. Oh well. Apologies. We got. I don't see any. We got one power. So I'm not gonna bother. Let me just drop this off. I'll hop out and check and see what this looks like. Yeah. Taking anything today, it doesn't look like. Save for tomorrow. Okay. to work on not moving my uh, right thumb stick joystick so much looking around because I do that a lot it kind of messes up the the view so to speak I don't know
Gonna go and get the uh, baler out of the field, bring it down here. Get it out of the rain at least for now. What I wanted to do was I wanted to bale that hay. I was gonna windrow it and bale it and then start on the corn chopping, but the rain kind of is. Oh God. Oh, is there a straw bale in there? No, there's nothing in there. Why does it look like there's a straw bale? There are, there are two of them. Oh shoot. Why did I do that? Can I set them on here? Can I like put them on the fenders or something? Not really. Can I put them on the bailer? Yeah. <laughs> I'll set them up on top of the bailer. they stay there. I just want to get them down to the yard. <laughs> oh, so the 0% was there was no new bale being made. Ah, oh, that's what it was. I could visually see him, but I didn't yeah, it's kind of stupid on my part. Alright. Shouldn't be too wet. They were in the baler until I took them out. Oh. These are the other ones I took out of the field. I know the uh, potato harvester. Let's go get it. We're borrowing it from a neighbor. Let's go get that. Go over on the other side of town.
sure why I went that way, but that's what I chose to do. Fucking track. Remember which house he lived in over here. I gotta remember to keep some potatoes for seed potatoes too. I forgot to do that on Blanca. See, I'll need to go get the Yamvi. So I know the long-term forecast shows like rain every day as far out as it goes. I think I mentioned that the other day. out of the rain we'll run back in the house we'll check the weather uh, this is not good So if you look at the long-term forecast, it's rain all the way through the end of November every day at some point. So looking at the near term, it's going to rain up until about 11 o'clock. And then we'll be good for the rest of the day. So that's what, 10, 11, a couple hours. So 
So I'm going to head over to the other farm, check on the cows over there, uh, be able to get the Yamsi. There's hay bales in that trailer in the uh, barn. I'll probably go and see if I can figure out a way to get those up into the loft. I may do it off camera. Or I may do it on camera. But yeah, it's not probably how we want to fill the episode during the rain. We want to get that uh, corn chopped. <clears throat> I think it's a priority. So I'm gonna I'm gonna just go ahead and take the Z tour over there.
Okay, well that works pretty good. I am sold on this conveyor. Um, while it might be quicker to just throw them up there, because the conveyor neatly drops them off at the top, it's easy to just pick them off of here and then stack them over off to the side because they come up neatly so yeah that's pretty nice it's still raining um, but we were able to do all this work outside the weather so that's good I'm gonna grab I don't know okay I'm gonna get the Yamsi we'll take this trailer back down to uh, the other farm so we'll have it for the hay bales when we get those done. And then we'll have the Yamsi down there for putting the uh, chaff into the silage pit. compact the uh, pit when we're down there so we'll head back to the uh, main farm in town and I guess we'll probably have to wait out the rain at that point because I don't think there's anything else we could do other than maybe mix up some total mix ration or something oh no we don't have any silage yeah so we're done uh, till the rain stops, I think. Let's see, where can I put this trailer where it's not going to be in the way? Because this tractor's too big to go through that building, I think. on for safety in the rain, right? So just turn around here. And drop it off. Alright. Okay, I think I'm gonna wait the rain out now. I guess we could check, see what they have for used equipment. Uh, Ray should be stopping pretty soon. We'll grab lunch now while we can. And then uh, maybe once it's stopped raining and, and we've eaten, we'll get started on chopping that corn. Let's check on used equipment real quick. Oh my, a cla class area. That's way too big. This is perfect. That is perfect. Oh, 63,000. I'm going to have to think about that. How much would a 
how much would a new Z-Tour of comparable horsepower cost? So a Z-Tour 4 Terra new would cost 98. Yikes. So wow, there's nothing. Wow. Ay, 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 ay. I don't know. Let me think about that and then we'll get to work. I think the rain's going to stop. Oh, let me eat fast. All right, qu quickly finishing up lunch here. Um, I'm going to have to think about that class for a while. Because I've got an Ursus. I think it's an Ursus loaded. It's uh, 155 horsepower. I think it's Lizard branded because I'm on console, but it's only like 58,000 euros and it fits the style of the map. I'm tempted, really tempted by that gloss, but I'm not sure that's what I want to do. So let's get chopping. out of here. There we go. And I think I'm going to just try and open the rear door here. And we'll just leave it open. We got that attached. All right, we'll just leave this open. I don't think it'll be too loud. So it's almost noon. <laughs> um, and we're gonna see if we can get going here. I don't know if I got up. to unfold the pipe or anything. I don't know if that's... I think we're going. Yep. Alright. I'm going to go in cab here so I can kind of see what I'm doing here along this edge. The problem with this is we end up driving over some crops, so we end up losing some when we're using this machine. It's smaller than the portrait one that we borrowed when we first started um, doing corn silage. I'd almost like to have that one, but well, this is what we got. This one's cool. It's cool looking, though. I gotta watch out for that branch. thinking do I need to move like that water trailer or some of that equipment out of the way so I have easier access to the uh, to the silage pit.
popping corn. <laughs> I do like this machine though, it's pretty cool. Like a lot of the equipment for kind of the Eastern European stuff, it's just neat, small stuff. I mean, it just works with these smaller fields to do it this way, in my opinion. gonna swing in and destroy some crop I think. <laughs> Alright, 68%. I don't on it anymore. I, I put it on when I was over near the road because I didn't want to get hit by a car. I wanted to warn them that they were over there working. Right. Let's go around again. Seventy-three percent. Three quarters full on the trailer. I on it. Seventy-nine. I don't know which tip side I have set. I'll have to check that. Just start going down the hill a little bit. Oh man, car. I don't think we'll get very far before we'll fall. Probably shouldn't even go. This way, cut through the field. That on. I need to move that water trailer. I don't think I have to.
I'll figure out what tip side I'm on here. Because that's gonna tell me which side I need to kind of stay towards. Hang on. So if I hit the button, does that change it to tip side left? I think so. Which means I'd be on tip side right. I think I'm on tip side right. Not what I wanted. To, I, I am on tip side. I'm on tip side left. Crap. <laughs> oh, I just made a mess. Okay, I gotta clean that up. Does it matter? Oh, dang it. <laughs> Alright, um, shoot. Can I get the shovel? Yeah, that'll work. I don't know how much is there. I turn the light on. <laughs> I was gonna get the T25 with the bucket, but I thought maybe, maybe I can do this quickly. might actually be quicker. I was gonna grab the T25 and put the bucket on it and stuff, but that would have took more time than this ended up taking, so. Actually, that was not a bad decision. I don't know why I turned that light on though. Okay. We'll probably start after this. <laughs> So it is on tip side left currently. in the pit. Wow, that's a lot. <laughs> so the idea is is that we use the uh, the Yamzi and it'll help compact it as it's going around. So let's just, oh, we could go, ah, yeah, we'll just start here and go around. And then we'll pick up where we left off on that other side. Should be fine. So I guess let's get a time lapse going.
Okay, I'm gonna have to take a break from this, I think. Uh, it's getting pretty messy over in the pit. I think I need to move the water tank out of the way. I probably need to put the bucket on the T25. Start pushing some of this back in there. And then... It's almost 4 o'clock. I want to get this hay baled while it's dry today before it starts raining again. So, let's see. Uh, I don't know. Is the Z tour over at the other floor? Dang it. <laughs> ah, darn it. I drove it over there to get the uh, Yamzi. Can I make the baler work with this tractor? I don't know. do these are gonna be bad these are gonna be big fat windrows This is going to accomplish what I'm hoping to accomplish. I'm trying to tighten up these windrows or not. What tractor can I use with the baler? Come on, get up there. I guess I could use the Yamzi. If I have to. I don't know if this will power it or not. I think I was able to power like that small Massey Ferguson small square baler, the base game one, with the Super H on Ohio Farms, so maybe it'll work. All we can do is try it. I don't know if it'll hook up or not. I don't know if I've done it before. <laughs>
drop the rake off there. How are we doing on daylight? It's getting late. I think we're okay on time in the episode because we did a lot of time lapsing. We even hook up. We cannot. That's what I was afraid of. I think it's going to put it on a pallet. Yeah. I don't even know if this is going to work. I'm, I'm not sure I've ever tried to put it on here before. My work. It might work. <laughs> it just might work. This might work. It's working. Feels like it's got the own. To go up the hill too. Yeah, T25. Whoop. Dang it. I think this will work. Maybe. I have to move those bales out of the way though. I'm going to pick these up and put them away for rains, I think. I'll have to check the weather again, see what, what it's going to do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing a good job here. Hey. Dropping bales and I'm not getting the wind real real well. Put that there and grab this guy. Put it there also. Come on, huh? Get all wide. I got a wide pickup. I just got to be smarter about how I'm driving. Need to offset more to my left. Right. We'll get it all. There we go. What do you think? I think I'm out of time. Um, I'm going to work while I still have daylight and get some of this stuff done that I need to do. I want to thank you for hanging out with me here at the uh, old Polish farm here in uh, Colonia. Uh, if you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you don't subscribe yet, why not? Don't cost nothing. We'll see you next time.